Hello, hello, hello. I um I'm coming to you guys just to talk a little bit about um weight loss. Um one of my subbies and I'm sub to her also um was speaking about plateauing. Um I found out that um when you are trying to lose weight, you have to trick your body. Your body is a machine and it will literally get used to something if you continue doing it over and over and over. So you have to kind of trick your body and do different things. That's why outside of going to the gym, I um do some workouts that I implement at home and then some other things. Um, when I lost the first 40 pounds last year, I had purchased these. I had started um, this Julian Michaels, this one here. Um, I think I only did it like two and a half weeks because I ended up starting another challenge with somebody to, um, lose weight. Um, and I won, but yeah, so this is the one I started and I didn't finish it, but I'm looking into trying to figure out which one I think I want to do at home outside of doing the cardio because it's more consistent. I can just pop it in and keep it moving. And, um, this one right here is like a full body work, body workout. This is killer buns and thighs. I don't know. And then this one is uh, extreme shred, shed and shred. Two instant, insanely effective 45-minute workouts. I don't know. So I'm going to think about it. I got these from Groupon's um, last year. And for all three of these, I paid like $14.89 or something like that. So check out Groupon's and Living Social for different things like this that um, they might have as far as weight loss. Oh, yeah. And um, it, I'll just do a video when it comes. I bought this awesome scale. It was like a scale that's usually like, I think, 100 and something. Then on the actual site for the scale, it was down to 60, 59 on sale, but then on Living Social, I got it for 25. But when I get that, I will definitely show that to you guys. But yeah, this was um, these are some of the things I do. But y'all yeah, know my favorite machine. My favorite machine is the Cybex, and um, I literally love that machine. It when I say when I first started on that machine, I was doing anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe, and that's not consistent. I'm talking about stopping, huffing, and puffing, and everything. This was last year. Um, and then um, my incline, I didn't even touch. And the resistance was probably like a level one. The machine goes up to a um, hundred in resistance. And I think I was on maybe one level one, two ish. And I didn't really touch the resistance. I probably kept the resistance down at like 10, 15 real low now I'm anywhere between 75 plus um up to 85 90 and I kind of zigzag while I'm doing it I'll in bring it up bring it down bring it up you know and bring it up higher kind of zigzagging you have to confuse your body just as well as you have to confuse um exercise you have to confuse your metabolism with food if you're consistently eating certain things and staying within a certain type of um, caloric intake, your body's going to get used to that. So you have to keep in mind, um, you have a goal weight, you have a current weight, and then you have a weight that you came from. Okay, so between those three, try to zigzag your calories when you're losing weight. You should be eating, and this is something you can find out from Julia Michaels website, juliamichaels.com, and a lot of other um, um, trainers and fitness gurus. You should be eating the amount of calories that you desire to be in size as far as weight. So if you you desire to be 170 pounds and you're 200 pounds now, you should be eating 1,700 calories. It sounds crazy, but it's not if you exercise and it's not if you're taking that 1,700 calories and breaking it up into six meals. Some people do it even lower, but I found that people that try to eat a lot of low intake calories, they um, tend to get frustrated because they still um, are hungry and they still want more and it's not enough. So they end up kind of falling off when they do eat something that is um, <clears throat> unhealthy or whatever. They eat too much of it. So basically, you have to figure out, okay, if I'm this size, I can zigzag. Like for me, my zigzag will be, I can zigzag anywhere from, my goal is to be 180. So I can eat 
I try to eat no lower than about 100, one, uh, 1,700 calories to, um, I just, I, I top it off at 2,000. I don't want to go into to higher than that, but I could go higher at least one day a week. You, you get what I'm saying? So that's the way I was zigzag. But, you know, people say they have cheat days. I don't really want to do a cheat day, like I said, because it's not a game to me. This is my life, and I'm trying to really figure out what's best for me. So what I would do is I would zigzag. Maybe I would do a Monday and eat regular, eat about 1,700 calories, 1,800 calories, and then do that again Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I might eat like 1,900 calories, 1,950 or whatever. Then on on uh, Friday or Saturday on a weekend, I might, um, and then like I said, Thursday, Friday, I'll probably eat right, but then Saturday and Sunday, I might jump up and eat maybe 2,000, 2,000, 2,100 or something like that, and then jump back down. You have to confuse your body because as long as it's no, it's going to be fed and it's going to be fed more than enough, it's going to burn. Eating six meals a day is so important. It's crazy and it sounds like, oh, that's a lot. It's really not because that's three big meals and three snacks. Each meal in between should be a snack. Your last meal of the day should be a snack. So that makes it a little bit more easier for you. Um, another thing is I poured some 100% ocean spray grapefruit juice in here. That's another thing that um, I was told and my aunt lives by it and I did see her stomach go down. Grape juice, grapefruit juice helps your stomach to, I mean, helps to eat the fat. It's enzymes and grapefruit juice that will eat the fat out of your stomach. So that's something else. And making sure you have a lot of water intake. If you're eating stuff that has a lot of salt in it or you're looking at your calorie intake but not watching your salt, salt bloats you. So you may not have gained weight, you might have gained water, or you may be retaining water. So if you push water in, it's going to flush water out and get that excess um, retained water that you have just sitting on you. So that's another thing to think about. Are you intaking too much salt? Um, like I said, zigzag your diet, zigzag your uh your exercise and what exercise you may not have to do it every day like today you might hit on get on a treadmill for 35 minutes and do it at a regular pace and then Wednesday or let's say today was Monday then Wednesday you might get on the treadmill and you hit it like go in and go with an incline and your pace is faster or whatever and then Friday you might drop it in between you get what I'm saying then you know start over and, and do it differently that next week but just zigzag it don't let your body be able to figure out what you're going to do don't make it something consistent that you do all the time like when I get on the side bags, I may do a level, um, what is, it? I might do a level, what, seven, eight, that's low. Then I might jump up and do a level, um, nine, then I might jump back and do an eight. You know what I'm saying? The incline might be five, then it might go to 10, then it might, I may throw my resistance up higher, up to <clears throat> 80, 90, you know what I'm saying? Then I might drop it down to 70. You know, you have to do that. And that way your body won't know what's going on and be kind of confused. So this will help you with the plateau. So whatever you're doing now, chalk it, add something to it, make something more strenuous, more hard. That means that it's used to it and it's not affecting you in a way where you're going to lose weight. So let's move on and try something different. And I'm kind of there too because I, I get bored fast. So I want to do something that's going to keep me excited, keep me, um, you know, still pushing, still moving or whatever the case may be. So I just thought that I would just do this quick video. Um, and get that out there to let you guys know you have to zigzag you have to trick your body trick your metabolism into um not knowing basically what you're going to do next basically it has to be like oh okay oh she exercised oh you know what i'm saying the body can't know what you're going to do because these bodies are awesome the way god made them they figure us out after doing the same thing over and over and over again, it's like, okay, okay, yep, I got you, I got you, this is what you're going to do, oh, this is what you're going to do, but when you trick, it's like, oh, oh gosh, we got to work, we got to work, we got to work, she doing more, she doing more, he doing more, whatever the case may be, so yeah, that's kind of it, just a little quick video, well, it's nine minutes, but not real quick, but just to throw that out there, let you know, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up, I'm going to put a link in the bottom, it's from a blog thing, I think that Jillian Michaels has, and it's five ways to get yourself out of the plateau, so that will be at the bottom of this, all right, talk to you later. Have a blessed day and stick to your script because you're the best at it. Love you guys.